see I let y'all live a stack of gold Okay, but be glad I pushed my album back I did y'all hoes a favor Come on now What's your name? You're a champion. Oh. How do I know? Just the person I wanted to say. Good morning. Is it still morning? Good morning, y'all. How are y'all? I decided to do a little segment real fast to bring out and tell y'all a little story about how I started my uh, business that's coming up. Okay. As you guys know, I done been through hell and back, right? But I still keep shining. I still kept getting up every day, right? Because at first I kept saying to myself, you know what, girl? This mother effort done left you, right? So what you going to do? What you going to do? You got to feed yourself. I knew I wasn't never punching another clock. Because I kept saying to myself, what that? I'm not punching a clock. I ain't punching a clock for nobody in five years, but I was still making it. But you know, like when you with someone and you building a life, you think that that's who you're going to be with, right? And see, it was so crazy because I was waiting for him to get his little real estate business off the ground. So I was thinking to myself, like, yo, once he gets his little, you know, real estate, little shit off the ground, whatever, then everything will be good. Like, I'm going to be able to uh, live, survive. I could just chill, you know, do my daily routines, cook, clean, you know, being a good wife. But when he left, it just I just felt like, oh, my goodness, because I still got minor kids. I still got, like, things to do. And I still wanted, you know, to live okay. And I was like, well, what can you do, chick? Because what put the lit the fire up in me is when he had the chick call me and say, girl, you ain't doing nothing with your life. All the fuck you do is sit around there and do nothing. What? Ho, let me tell y'all motherfuckers something. I ain't never been to sit around, wait on a motherfucking nigga type chick. So I knew right then and there she ain't know a chick. So I was thinking to myself, oh, you think you, when I say I'm a boss, you don't think I'm a boss? You don't think I'm a, I'm gonna have to show you, bum, that I'm a boss. So what I did was, I kept saying, you know, like, I do do crafts, I do crafts very well. I got a lot of talents. I got a lot of talents. Crafting is one, I love to craft. Crafting is something I always never feel bad about doing. So, you know, like, um, back in the day, I used to have this bull working for me. So, anyway, all right, I, I came up with the decision to go in and start, you know, like, uh, a little store or whatever. So, I came up with that decision. Look, month one, I was up there upset. Month one is when I thought of the plan. This ain't I thought of the plan. This was God's plan, okay? So, I was like, now, you know you're a good crafter, right? But you got to have to do other things. So, anyway, I kept saying, well, what? What I'm going to come up with Because it's crazy Like through the years I would always call my alter ego Like a, a lima Because Every time I'm, I'm a sweet person I'm You know I'm kind and giving But when I'm When I'm getting When some I feel like somebody playing me That's when I always used to say A lima come out A lima come out She don't take no shit So then I got a lima From the bull That kept saying my name wrong That was doing work for me When I was younger So I just said You know what I want something like that. I said, Alima's a good name. She's my alter ego. And what a, what? she's a boss just like I am. So that's how Alima was born. But I just wanted to tell y'all that I'm no better than nobody. And I'm not better than not a chicken around. Because I done been through hell and back, okay? I had bums in my life. You know, I'm from the hood. I ain't nobody that think I'm no better than nobody. But y'all got to give it to me now. I can take something and I can put it together and make it look like, you know what I mean? So... Why you wouldn't shop with me? You know what I mean? And plus, I know how to do customer service. I love all my, my ball sticks. I got some for everybody. I got uh, whatever budget you got, I got it. I got it. All I'm asking is for just to support me. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, I got up every stinking damn day. Some days I couldn't even get up. I told you I was down for 23 days. And I'm not even singing no sad song because that song, like I said, shot and dropped the mic on that one. But anyway, I got a little business meeting I'm on my way to. Yes, we still do business in COVID. Like, I got, you got to eat, honey. You got to be a hustler. Shit, I might be around here uh, selling fried chicken wings on Fridays. I mean, shit. Uh, I mean, a hustler's a hustler, right? But anyway, I just wanted you guys to know that, um, support me. Support me. You know what I mean? Support your, uh, 
entrepreneurs because we work hard too. I mean, like everything I did, I tried to make sure that I had something for all of y'all and I'm not expensive. I'm reasonable. I style you and everything. Like you tell me what you want, how you want to look or whatever. I got you. And I'm not saying I'm not like the most dressingest motherfucker in the world, but I can dress and that's what I'm known for. They call me Fly Lean. I'm fly. You know what I mean? So this is my little segment of Chronicles of Fly Girl. And all I'm asking for, you know, is a little support. Buy from me. And I'm going to look out. Listen, I only do appointments only to come to my shop. But when you come to my shop, you'll get treated like, <laughs> like you've never been treated before. You're going to have a little champagne. You know what I mean? We're going to sit down. We're going to talk about what you want. How you want to look on your special day. Whatever it is. You could be going out with your girlfriends. You could be going to a wedding. You will be going clubbing. You can go on a date with your dude. Whatever whatever the occasion is, I got you. And I don't even, I'm going to style you though. Just because you purchased something from me. Come on now. You can't beat that. Where you can go and get that from? You know what I mean? So, sorry about that. Somebody done called me. I done asked you to, um, what you like. You know what I mean? What you looking for. And if you don't like it. What I'm picking out for you, then you pick out for yourself. But I'll have something for everyone. I might ask you to be a little adventurous, though. Because sometimes we as women, we just keep wearing the same the same stuff. We just, you know, you got to venture out and don't be scared of fashion because I'm never scared of fashion. I'm looking real cute today on my way to this little meeting. But that's all I wanted y'all to know about Alimas. I wanted you guys to support me. And you know, that's all I'm asking for. And I'll never let y'all down. Y'all chicks know damn well I got y'all my grandson. But anyway, I just that's all I want to say. Hey, Dina. Hey, everybody, I'm just letting y'all know about my little boutique that's coming soon. You know, COVID stopped me a little. I was having a big old grand opening party. It was going to be boss, but hey, I got to do things a different way, but it's okay. God's still in the, he's still in the mix or whatever. But anyway, y'all, I'm about to jump on this highway. I'm going to talk to you guys later. And I just want y'all to support Alima's because Alima and Arlena got up every day with a broken heart. Okay. And God told me it was some things that he wanted me to do. So these are some of the things that I'm doing. But anyway, I'm making jewelry uh, trays too. I'm just a hustler. <laughs> I got to crack up. But anyway, you guys have a great day. And I just, you know, just support my boutique when it comes out. When my website is up. And I, um, I'm doing um, appointments only to come to the boutique. Because I want to make you feel comfortable. So it's just you. And you can just get styled by me. So you won't have all these people in there. And I'm just going to take appointments only. But anyway, everybody have a great Friday. And enjoy your weekend. Mwah. Video, but I don't see it. You see me right there, you stop it? No, I don't know how to stop this. <laughs>